Greetings and welcome to YourInspirations.com. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Lace Panel Knit Poncho. This is a very simple to stitch lace pattern, only four rows in the repeat. And you're going to make it in two rectangles. The back does not have the lace, only the front. Worked from the bottom up, and then after it's blocked, a simple shoulder seam gets you where you need to go. To make this, you're going to need four balls of Karen Simply Soft. I used taupe here on camera, just like we show in the picture. And you're going to need a size US 8 or 5 millimeter circular knitting needle, 36 inches, 91 and a half centimeters long or longer, or the size needed to obtain gauge. Now, the reason you need such a long circular needle is because we have a lot of stitches going on, but this is knit flat. So let's take a look at the base pattern, which is this lovely garter stitch ridge. And then moving on, we're going to take a, a look at the lace that happens here in the middle. So let's get started with the knitting. Now I'm not going to go crazy knitting the base pattern on camera because it's basically alternating rows of knits and pearls, but I did want to give you the opportunity to take a look at it up close and personal because close-ups are always helpful. Now this is the pattern that you're going to use for all of the back and the front on either side of the lace panel. And we are going to do the lace panel on camera. But what you have done is you've done your cast on and we have you working on a circular needle even though you're knitting flat because it's such a large number of stitches. You're going to knit seven rows of garter stitch and then there is a four row repeat as follows, which is knit, then knit five, purl across until five remain, knit five, and then two rows of knit. So what happens is you knit, and then you always, always, always keep the five stitches at the beginning of the end in knit, garter stitch, in knit, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then you do knit five, purl across, knit five, then knit a row, knit a row, which gives you this cool little ridge, and then go back to one. So knit, purl in the middle, knit, knit. Knit, purl in the middle, knit, knit. And that is going to be the base pattern. Let's take a look at the edge here. And you can see that my first five stitches, and it's the same on the last five stitches, my first five stitches and last five stitches are always knit. They are always in garter stitch. So let's take a look at the lace pattern. So that's in the front. You're going to cast on and do the garter stitch border the same way you did for the back. And then we're going to work on this pattern right here, which is also a four row repeat, but it's just in the center. All right, now the lace panel is centered in the front and you'll see from the instructions, which is on the top of page two, that it says knit 59, etc., etc., knit 59 at the end. And that'll include your five stitches at the beginning and end that are on the border. However, in the interest of not having this video take 16 hours, I have knocked 100 stitches out of my row. So I'm going to knit nine at the beginning and the end. You will knit 59 at the beginning and the end. The other thing I want to point out while we're looking at the text is that the row count changes. You're going to go, you had 152 stitches, you're going to go up to 154 on the first row. You're going to stay at 154 for the second row. You're going to go back down to 152 for the third row and stay at 152 for the fourth row. So you go up to down to as you do the repeats, that's fine. I just want to point it out so that you don't count your rows and think that you have made a mistake. It is not a consistent number of stitches throughout. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is knit nine. Purl two, knit one, yarn over, knit one, 
purl two, one, two, knit two together. So just knit two stitches together as one, yarn over. Now it says knit two together in parentheses right here. So I'm going to knit two together three times. One, two, three. Then in the next parentheses, it says yarn over, knit one, and then six times. So I'm going to do what's in the parentheses six times. So yarn over, knit one, one, two, three, four, five, six, then knit two together three times. One, two, three, yarn over SSK, that's slip, slip, knit. You're going to slip two stitches individually onto the right hand needle, pass them back to the left needle and knit two together through the back loop. So that's slip, slip, pass them back. Now you can take your needle out when you pass them back, but honestly, I put them back on the left hand needle and I just leave my needle there because it's where it needs to be to knit through the back loop. You can do that either way. Purl two, purl two, knit one yarn over knit one, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl two, purl two, and then you will knit 59, or in my case, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we came out even, <laughs> huzzah. I'm just pulling up some more yarn here. So this is the beginning of the lace pattern. And once again, on your swatch, the lace panel will center all the way down here on the border. It's just different on mine because I did a couple rows of the base pattern so you could get a close up look and see what it looks like. So now we're on the second row. And we're going to knit five to keep those borders consistent. Two, three, four, five. Now it says purl 54, but I'm only going to purl four because I'm once again having a smaller swatch than you will have. Three, four. Let me just make sure I counted right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yes. Now knit two, knit two. Purl three, one, two, three. Knit two, knit two. Purl twenty two. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Oops. My yarn is tangled today. 
knit two, knit two, purl three, one, two, three, knit two, knit two, purl fifty four, or in my case four, one, two, three, four, knit five, because remember the first and last five stitches are always knit. One, two, three, four, five. So let's go back to the right side of the work. And this is what we have after the second row. Now, moving on to the third row, I see an unfamiliar abbreviation, so I'm going to go ahead and look at it now before I get knitting so I don't have to put my knitting down in the middle. And it is knit three PSSO. So let's go back to the abbreviation page at the beginning and see what that says. It says knit three, pass third stitch on right hand needle over first two stitches. So knit three PSSO. Let's uh, see how that looks when we come to it in the third row. All right, knit 59, or in my case, nine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm just gonna double count it because I wanna make sure I'm right where I need to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, excellent. Purl two, purl two, knit three PSSO. So I'm going to knit three, one, two, three, and I'm going to pass the first stitch over the other two. Purl two, Knit 22, one, two, I want to just double count that because I sort of stopped in there to pull up my yarn. So there's my purl two and then after, you see how I can see that those are the purl stitches? Then let's just double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. No, I think I'm counting wrong because that really looks like it's in the right spot. Here's my PSSO and my purl two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This is why we double count. <laughs> Was right the first time. Purl two. Um, and I just wanna take a point that after you've gotten a few rows on here, you really can start to intuit or read your knitting. You see, those are the two pearls. That sort of gives my brain a little clue that I'm purling in the right place. Knit three PSSO. So once again, knit three. One, two, three. 
take the first stitch and pass it over the next two. You might see that I'm got, I've got a little pressure here on the working yarn. I don't want to pull it out of gauge, but if I don't have a little bit of tension on there, the whole ball game wants to slip off the end of the needle tip, and we do not want that to happen. Purl two, knit 59, or in my case, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know that it's supposed to come out even after end of the row, but I always find it very delightful when it does. <laughs> it's like a little tip that you're doing the right thing. All right, let's get this cable out of the way. So this is how it looks after the third row. And like I said, we're starting to see columns, vertical columns of purl stitches, which will help us intuit. All right, so we're coming up on the fourth row. It says knit 61, and I'm knocking off 50, so in my case, I'm going to knit 11. Oh my goodness, my cables are fighting with me today. One. Then purl two, purl two, knit two, knit two, purl twenty two, There's my 22. Then I am going to knit two. And again, you're being able to read your work now. You can see those two columns of knit stitches so you know you're in the right place. Purl two. And knit 61, or in my case, 11. One, two, three. All right, let's take a look at the right side of the work. So what you can see happening is your lace pattern is starting to build up in the center, but your ridge pattern is building up on either side. Now again, in my case, it's only this wide, but in your case, it will be much wider. It'll look like this. So you'll have this kind of stitching on either side of the lace panel, and the lace panel will start at the garter stitch border. Now all you need to do is repeat those four rows and honestly the more repeats you have in there the more intuitive it becomes it's a lot easier to count the stitches. Repeat the last four ro rows until work from beginning measures 23 inches or 58 and a half centimeters ending on the third row of the ridge stitch pattern and that is our first pattern. Then you're going to knit six rows of garter stitch for the top border and cast off as if to knit. So you're going to have two large rectangles with borders at the top. 
So to block this, I actually think this is very clever. Instead of trying to wet block this, they suggest pinning pieces to measurements on your blocking board, cover with a damp cloth, and just leave the cloth to dry. So that gives enough moisture in the yarn for it to set in the direction you would like it to, but you don't have to soak it and then have it be all sloppy and out of shape. So the front and back shoulders along top edge, approximately 13 and a half inches or 34 and a half centimeters from each edge, leaving 11 inches or 28 centimeters open for the neck opening. So really, once you get those two rectangles blocked, you're starting here on the outside, sew them together, sew them together, weave in all your ends and you are done. And while we suggest an 11 inch or 28 centimeter neck opening, you of course can adjust it to make it tighter or more open depending on how you want to wear it. So I hope you had a wonderful time making the lace panel knit poncho with us. Thanks so much for joining us here on Yarnspirations.com. We look forward to seeing you again real soon.